around partnership. Now, what do we really need to create partnerships and a digital system that we can present in two inclusive systems? It is you know, corporate corporate partnership, it is a social business, you know, corporate partnership, it is a donor, um, how are the donors that you know, they have paid. So these are the themes that we covered. Um, at the end of uh, this panel, I will be looking back to um, the audience for questions for about 10 minutes. That said, I also, um, you know, I have the only question for you to manage here, so I like to actually start with this one. Um, so because um, I know this HDM has been doing a lot of work on uh, you know, this project, just being integrated to micro-entrepreneurship models. So what's the understanding of, you know, how do you see this in the space you want? Um, because one of the criticisms that we often hear, or, you know, the last culture is really this, that we look at this space mostly as, you know, a VOP as consumer, not really as, you know, integrated part of the value chain. So, is that, in your opinion, is it enough just because you are providing some basic services to be okay? Just because you are getting them clean water, is, is, your, is it enough in your opinion or is it an opportunity for you to do more? <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. That's a long question. Sort of combined with the number of So, I would like to be brief and concise. First of all, I think we are doing this and uh, it's all very poor, but we're not speaking for that today. Culture is living here. There's a certain number of such processes don't do so much because at some point of time, they change my own career and they try to change, they try to satisfy too many demands. Whether I'm this or I'm that or 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 I'm this or I'm to the basis of that. And uh, I think we understand that the primary goal is to survive the majority of also the consumers. But there are some, some opportunities in the world where they can be created as entrepreneurs, some of them can become consumers. But I think that cannot be the overall objective. So, so we cannot burden the business to create entrepreneurs. Micro uh, entrepreneurs can get creative along with it to support them. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, we have back to some of these things and we want to discuss them a little bit more. Uh, but if I just go to the next you know, nothing can be success like rural contracts in rural economies. Um, so, you know, we often hear that financial service is, you know, one of the basic provisional services. And I know that even money is a lot of work in the past. So how do you see, you know, mobile technology being an innovator and through so all, you know, provision of basic services and thereby, you know, being more inclusive? So, it's a very good question. Sure. Uh, you know, I think that I think that our company here, we've been on the time, 15 years ago, in the corporate world, I thought that I'm just, uh, it's going to be the same now. Uh, the whole world opens for people to go and drive. But the traffic was in front of us. It allows, you know, the last five traffic to get connected and be available for the financial inclusion. Once we have the five, you know, anybody who would like to go and you know, get connected to that world, you know, it's just, you know, available in the form of that. Uh, so, everyone's place is available in India, you know, at the uh, uh, what we have done is, you know, what we are doing in the telecom, but we are not doing that. So we have offered a very really 
pure mode of energy is going to be dissipated in part of the core of the system. You know, ideally you would like to think part of the system. Yes, when you choose to pay these markets, you know that the results are going to be slow, it's patient capital, it's patient resources. So when you see the development of opportunity, do you think, you know, I believe it's done that it's in the case of the world that happens, do you really think that you are able to make the money for you? And it's not, how do you keep it like that? What is it about, you know, what is the key that you would just, you know, elaborate and become that? So, it's made in charge of the upper level. Yeah, I think I'll use something. Typically, when a company has various markets, and I already have to see what is the market size of these so-called current sectors. In India, roughly, it will be about 600 million euros. Right? So that will be a typical factor market size of uh, products or technologies that we currently have. And now we are looking at, as uh, was mentioned, we are also looking at anything, uh, it is like uh, healthcare, energy, and water, and so on. So you can analyze the market, uh, so that it is in the same range. It is in that 600 or 200, it is at the same range. People can cycle it for different people. So the opportunity is there and we can have a challenge. I think our challenge has been the cost to serve. How do you serve that market and can you do it in a profitable way? Well, I think we can't get the whole mindset that it has to be sustainable and for that. It has to be popular. So that's kind of a fundamental on that aspect. The second aspect I think that kind of catches us is uh, you know, the whole business model. Because as corporate sometimes I think it has to be laid and you know, everything has to be very simple, otherwise it becomes too complex. And it has to be a power point, otherwise we just don't get it. So if you saw the model that says product and it has to be sold to you know, the customer and the franchise and the village and there are three NGOs involved and you need five distributors to get there, a PowerPoint buyer can give a lot of things. Now, uh, no more what to do with some of that. So the challenge for us is how can we be buying and every day we can get uh, incorporate the product in the world that we do. It's easily to get a little bit changed again and go back to us and change it. So as a customer, as a distributor, as a product, as a technology, you can lay it down and say, if I want to enter the space, how many of those will change? And if the number of things that change is more than two, it will not work. I mean, in a big conference, it is really hard to make it work. So I think there are big areas where the change is less than two and then figure out how we do it. Because there are many pieces of the puzzle up there that can be separated. Thank you, Pamela. So, that's how we think about it. You know, I would agree that I analyze some of these so-called use practices, which is, you know, I think of the time, being told, you know, how much power it does not have to go to. It's because, you know, these are very different than your normal routine. But what we have seen, you know, uh, even from the label as well, is, you know, in case you, know, you are able to do the race, you know, you have multiple angles and you can, like you said, you know, if you can go to the data, as you say, and see how you can collaborate with your industry in power, closer, and you know, there's all these business cases, uh, we don't have to worry about it, we don't have to worry about it, we don't have uh, today, uh, in Bihar, we have also uh, a large identified house in India. Some of us today, who are not as good as, uh, you know, community uh, age. Uh, India today is capable of uh, doing a set of money. The state is making money, is making money, is making money. He is also doing one service. And he is also installing a DTA so, you know, so if I would have really broken these three little differently and try to, uh, you know, go to the market, I just would have paid. <laughs> so, you know, that's how some of these things are just involved. But if you really have to construct them, you can generate some of them, then some of these uh, low return businesses must take more time. And it's not to worry about a lot of people's dramatic change because they're able to raise the same money uh, and control data and make money. So I, I would like to uh, divide my answer into two. <laughs> the first uh, 
So if you had a mind, how um, much I love, I don't think you might want to eat that for instance, you know, one portfolio, or you know, ten portfolio. Um, how much that time? First of all, that's a question. What, how much of this is your you company in terms of being a service issue? Now, I said, what kind of run time do you think you get for the government? You know, how patient are they? Um, it is easy. So, 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 there's no choice, right? If you look at other dynamics, last year, I think I was talking about 20, 20 years of school market, I thought all of us were about 18 billion dollars per year, right? That was kind of the big thing. But the lot of it is back now. We have a product that's more uh, high value, so we know what our ads are going to be and so on. So, only when the further growth is to come down the middle, right? So, there's not much choice. I think if you talk to other people are realizing that. So for example, initially we are telling the mandate is to build businesses for India from scratch. And they should not be related to the core set of businesses. So it has to be kind of a reverse business. It should not be related to the core set of uh, businesses. So when that kind of power process comes, obviously they can buy it to do something like this, it's kind of already there. I've seen that transformation. Maybe five years back, I would have not been able to say that. So who started when it's staying up in India, within the places, and you know, within India, the dollar is very overwhelmed, right? It's like getting money free or something, but over the dollar, that's kind of very different. So people are getting overwhelmed. And I think what it's So the challenge has been that it's been a good part of it is changing. But the other part of it is like a lot of the two years of control, right? You all have like corporations, every two years you've got to move the sweater away against your time. So you buy a new guy with an initiator, an initiator in two years. That's why I think it's changed with the people of the law. In my experience, most corporations are actually with the law. It never fails because you put a product out and the customer will get it. So this is a huge challenge. So it's roughly about two, two and a half years that we get it at the time. It might be uh, slightly very but that's really the time. So I have to do it or you don't do it. And if you get into it, then R&D models may invariably take that amount of time. So the fundamental process has to be broken up over and over. Um. Yeah. 
DOB market, right? So I cannot even imagine talking about having an impact or being an individual business without taking serious initiative to do the market itself. So what is the nature of the market? The author has noticed this thing about social enterprise corporate partnerships. As important as they are, um, they don't seem to be succeeding very well. So I feel that the landscape is better required. We have to be able to scale. Um, I think the problem is to hold some corporate trying to move down. Um, and I, you know, maybe tell the social business is something of it. Um, and social business is some kind of, you know, being a bit insecure because then it is not corporate. Right? And there's also that spread of tax valuation, right? So if I take them all the business things, I take them on that side. So how do you take attention? And you know, I don't think you want you to answer that in national community. How do you, you know, take that attention and get in the market first? Sure. Um, so like I just touched upon right now, uh, we need to be actually very clear regarding who is being what we do. Why does this partnership has been actually answered very early on before that is just a partnership? Do you think it's that easy? I mean, I mean, if you have a degree, it's not going to be that simple, but if you have a degree, it's not going to be that simple. It works only then. Right? It works only then. Uh, it works... So there's, there's actually sort of a link about when do these partnerships actually work? And looking back at the different partnerships that have been part of, and the partnerships that have been just Right, but they are all right. uh, It comes down to a five point. Uh, if you don't get these five points, I, I doubt you're going to work. First one is be specific regarding why you need this part. From the enterprise point of view, that is the thing that you So if I'm going to say, hey, everyone has a part of this, I need to say who are your own part of this and why. And be very specific about it. And position that very clearly with the corporate and see that there is actually value in the Right? That's number one. Two, they need to be a strategic outlook for both parts of the world. Right? Is it simply trying to come? Or is it a longer term otherwise that a corporate is looking for? What is it in what is it? what is it for me as well as for you? Right? That seems to be important. And this is something that we often miss. Without a near term goal, I mean, to pretty say, you know, big point of I say, I have seven team partnerships for me. Right? Especially for me, with the social enterprise we have in the I probably might have even better of a right? So we need to have a near term goal that someone with senior leadership has bought, right? And have is next on the line for that. That's very important. The final point is all that needs to finally come down the front line of both sides. Because we can talk everything we want sitting here in an AC room, but it absolutely does not work. If my team on the ground does not buy into it, and your team on the ground, be it a nature or a fever or a torch, buy into it. And your KRA or KPA or whatever the technology is, is very responsible. So, this is literally trying to it work, and it has worked, and this flows beyond our microfinance organization, government, private. Whatever the organization partners are trying to work, these things are not in place, it's probably it is required. It's, it's a beautiful way of I would like to give a more corporate uh, and, and I'm sure there are several points which will come in the presentation. But I also find that there is a lack of criticism by the social insiders that they approach their projects. And this could be possible because these are not chocolates, so there is very little visibility from the other side. That's to do that one. Uh, so I can share that 55% of all participants that I have uh, uh, So it's like uh, somebody in this one social enterprise and they then cast in it. And which has become even easier to work with only three men to be able to do. So you can actually write to as many people as you want. 
that we bring on this. Maybe that's how it's like an approach. Um, in English, it's going to be a major part of the campaign. I was going to come to the second part of uh, this. We agree, you know, and uh, being focused on the going to say is the end of the political work that you could have done with the We do identify the guests that they have. They have not enough successful objectives as of now. It's not, you know, but in the social business, <laughs> social business, and some of the private average sheets, the level of the which you call it, street unions, so on, and so on, but most are still at that point. So there is a need for those education to be like embraced and others, and the system here do have, do have, uh, you know, Program which is focused on integrating innovation. We are working very closely with integrators and users to basically design that program. There, it will be a mix of you know, uh, what you call the technical support as well as investment capital because. Uh, mm -hmm. So he preserves the volume of the system price. If he goes to the small account, it doesn't make sense. It's not a huge amount. And we might have to just have to lower the cost of the scale of the market for the next stage of the industry. We need to do it. So that's the one that you know is actually like a new market account because we need to kind of grab up and definitely want to get some market support. Yeah, uh, okay. I just want to say that the definition of situation is expanded beyond the getting to the market moment. Like, I think it's a huge gap, but uh, what are you want to in the third quarter? There's a huge need on the selling of the business model side, where the investment is not done, uh, what should I say, underestimated, regarding how much it will be needed and how much it actually needs. And the kind of services that a company, even one that can say that has grown to very fast, needs in the growth phase, what we call the growth phase. So that is the time when companies, lots of social enterprises, try to scale businesses that probably they have proven to escape. Right? So that is where I think they need to say it, the approach to it. Where they need to have this conversation in that state. Where they have to agree that there is motivation for customers. You know, I think this is just, um, such a perfect uh, point to kind of you know, close this discussion because um, if what you are saying indeed is true, like, you know, there needs to be more engaged money uh, for them to you know, grow in business model. So maybe, uh, you know, the project and process and the like, team of partners was actively very similar um, in part of these programs, you know, the mega programs that they don't want to use because they talk to them, they engage with them, and they don't really know you know, what the needs of your, um, what the needs are in fact, and how to do that. So some part of your partnership uh, is definitely warranted here. Right? And the fact that they go straight out of the audience, if you have any questions, um, you know, open up a mic and just, Hello, I'm Adam Sanamdo. I am in the field of healthcare and I'm a diabetologist from Odisha. We are in center and we are trying to take it to different districts and to the community level. Our process is, for some of the people, at the moment, in the health is free. I mean, the state charge. And particularly in the bottom of the United level, health is definitely a free commodity. And we want to do your business there. And how much investors want that the money should be there and it should get back profit from those people. And our problem is if someone comes by a backwards wallet, it's not because that they have to refuse to sell if he doesn't pay. But in the healthcare, if someone comes for the health checkup, we do not have a right to refuse. It is an ethical At this point, I would like, like to know the only of the rabbit, minority sufficient, that has to be a total component to that 
another new investment which must go into the business of it. So, I am saying that there is a need for soft money. Soft money for those people who cannot buy a product that is healthcare. Okay. Uh, Harish, would you like to respond? Yes. So, you know, earlier in the discussion, we, we got to the point, and uh, I think we need to clarify that, that, you know, uh, social enterprises should not live in this dream world where they believe they can provide to the needs of all the segments of the market. Ultimately, social enterprises are working in a space that are dealing with economic aspects. You know, there is a category of poorest of the poor, and for which there are other players, <laughs> and there is a space for every player in the development be it the government, be it the you know, NGO, the agency. But when you take yourself or you value yourself as an enterprise, I think it makes sense, first of all, to be, to prove your thing, to become profitable. And it's not proper as a practice, I would like to point It's not that schools do not pay. You know, even for health services, they pay in so many ways. You know, for the years, uh, one time, they uh, have a you know, disease leads to, you know, modulating your land, your know, building, property, whatever a poor has had. So, and at the, even taking smaller healthcare issues, every day, you know that poor pay more than you could pay as part of the middle class, you know, the more privileged class. So it's not that poor who say, and they have the willingness to say, provided you can promise them the quality services you like to have. Any senior partners will start to come out. But what actually happens is we, the social enterprises, identities, and the corporates, uh, and I don't know how the term is, inertia, yeah, it can happen in fact. What I found might work is if there are creative ways to design these products. For example, when if the social enterprise launches a project by itself, and if they see in two weeks' time, even though you might have said a government school, in two weeks' time there are signs that they are not going to actually cover them. Now, are you able to turn around faster and say, hey, I need to really give us this shift, how it evolves this spider? So there needs to be a mutual understanding that the assumptions with which you are launching the pilot would be grossly wrong and hence there's a willingness to give us pretty fast. If that is not there, that's when you know everything becomes too rigid for so such an enterprise to go. We are very feeling the corporate start of starting. So there's the analogy, right? I love that analogy. It's called dancing with a gorilla. So I am the gorilla. The corporate is a gorilla. So you should actually do this. Go to YouTube and watch a movie of a gorilla dancing. There is no way you can dance with a gorilla. And it's absolutely crazy the way they dance. The only thing that you can do is there are certain moves of a gorilla, right? That are like patterns. So you have to catch the moves. Right? And when you do that, you can actually synchronize with the gorilla. Otherwise, if you step back and there is no way you can dance with a gorilla. So always you should remember that gorillas are the closest to human beings. <laughs> <laughs> and second thing is gorillas are vegetarians. So they will never eat the <laughs> Okay, um, you know, actually, I can only think of you living in the Gorilla analogy, but um, the fact that you have to make uh, the fact that it's not available for you, you might not have any further questions because I don't want to keep you looking for your time for lunch. Uh, so, with that, I'm going to send my video to the doctor to the time for the room to kind of come in and check your kind of view. This is really great. Um, and I hope that you all have some value of this interaction. It was a very candid session, a lot of great stories, great insights, and lots of comic humor as well. So we should start before we break on lunch, like, again, and those two partners. Thanks for their contribution. Thank you.